Howdy. We're Tom and Sherry Berger, owners of the Seaside Gallery in Fismo Beach. Our fourth annual Slowpoke Western Art Rodeo is opening with a grand reception on July 5th. This exhibition and sale of Western art will continue through July 20th. Tom and I are proud to offer this unique annual event to beautiful downtown Pismo Beach. Once again, we've rounded up more than 30 of the best Western artists to exhibit over 100 works of art, paintings in oil, acrylic, pencil, as well as scratchboard and sculpture. We present artists of excellence, artists of national and local renown. But in July, we present acclaimed artists of that uniquely American art genre, Western art. So here at the San Inez Valley Historical Museum, we are reminded of our Western heritage and Western art. There's nothing else like it. The unique story of the American West. More than scenes of Native Americans and cowpokes, it depicts horses and wildlife, Western landscapes and California seascapes, historic moments and contemporary rodeos and ranch life. It's portrayed realistically, impressionistically, and even abstractly. Something for everyone. Our San Luis Obispo Cowpoke Western Artist Exhibition and Demonstration of Skills or Rodeo. Or Slowpoke Western Art Rodeo. Includes some of the best Western artists and sculptors to be found locally or from the Western states. Here's what some of the artists have to say. Hi, I'm Baron Postmas, and I'm an artist and have been all my life. I started out as an illustrator in the Army and then went into a commercial uh, field when I was studying at Art Center. And now I just do Western art uh, in a realistic style for galleries and shows around the country. And uh, right now I'm showing in the Seaside Gallery in Pismo Beach and I will be part of their Slowpoke show in July. I generally like to do clouds. My specialty is kind of clouds and uh, I use those to a, to a great extent in most of my paintings. I'm doing this in clouds and I've got one up here I can show you. I painted this from a trip that my wife and I did up to the High Sierras and we hiked up to Gem Lake. It was quite a hike. I couldn't take any sketch materials but I had a camera and as we were laboring up the trail I could see how different the sky was and I I realized suddenly that it was the contrast between the blue background and, and the, the clouds. The clouds looked so much whiter, but they really weren't. It was just that they were against this darker backdrop. So when, he, when I went to paint it, I realized I couldn't use the ceruleans or the cobalts that I usually did. I tried a little Prussian blue with a touch of black in it, and voila, there it was. And the clouds popped out, which affects the whole painting. Hi, my name is uh, Faria Ali, and I am a professional fine artist here in America. I come from a small island in the Caribbean, uh, Trinidad, uh, but I've moved to the States some 35 years ago. Uh, my best uh, school was the streets of LA where I really honed my skill as an artist and I started painting a lot of the people and the place um, in what I, what I call interpretive impressionism. This is a piece I did called the standoff. The brush strokes I've used a lot of time over the years, my brush strokes have always been ragged and kind of uh, chaotic, but together uh, it makes an image. And you can kind of see that more when you look closely at the painting. Of course, here's Harley. This, I think, hung at one time at uh, Seaside Galleries. Uh, Harley is now in the whiskey bottle. There's a long story here. They gave him a gun, and this kid, there's a, a show he performs. He's a stuntman, and he, uh, well, he shot the sheriff with the gun, so they took it away from him, so now he puts his whiskey bottle in his holster. Uh, I really enjoy painting. It's been my life. I remember my first drawing since I was 12 years old, and I'm still painting. You know, times are up, times are down, and uh, my brush keeps moving. I, I love to paint. Hi, I'm Keith Batchelor. I'm a graduate of Art Center College of Design and I worked for over 35 years as an illustrator, working a lot with the movie studios in Hollywood and I also worked with Walt Disney doing a lot of their feature film uh, posters. And for the past eight years I've been working uh, as a fine artist uh, 
doing mostly uh, Western subject matter, landscapes, and still lives. And uh, this painting here is uh, something I just did recently that kind of typifies what I've been wor working on lately. And uh, I chose this subject uh, because I just love this handsome image that I photographed of this Indian riding his horse in uh, the early morning. It was around 6 o'clock in the morning when I photographed this. I just love the warm, soft lights in the background with this uh, very handsome horse and all the cool colors here in the foreground. And I, th I thought it made a very nice uh, subject to paint. The uh, Slowpoke show is going to feature a painting of mine called Siesta Time, and it won the gold medal at the San Dimas Western Show here this past year. So I hope you get a chance to see that. Hi, my name is Bill Churchill, and I create sculpture in wood. My goal is to produce realistic sculpture of Western, Native American, and wildlife subject matter. I want to showcase the natural beauty of wood and incorporate the nuances of fine art. I find that to be a very tough challenge, but fortunately I've been helped by participating in some highly regarded art shows, such as the Masters of the American West at the Archery National Center and the International Design in Wood Competition at Del Mar. Shows like this have given me the opportunity to meet and discuss art with some highly skilled artists. Artists such as Howard Turpin and Willard Chody. And they have inspired and influenced me in their own way. You can see their work and mine at the Seaside Gallery. As you've heard, Western art is a passion and a unique expression for many artists and collectors. It takes many forms, and covers a broad spectrum of subjects. It's about a uniquely American way of life, both past and present. It takes you to a special place that is only possible in America. We exhibit many more artists that share the same skill sets and motivations as the artists that you've just heard from. So come to Seaside Gallery to consider this beautiful art for your home or collection. The Slowpoke Western Art Rodeo at Seaside Gallery offers original art from more than 30 talented and recognized artists including a selection of limited edition jaclays from such nationally known artists as Howard Turpening, Martin Greeley, Andy Thomas, among others. We and our staff at Seaside Gallery eagerly await your visit to the fourth annual Slowpoke Western Art Rodeo. We are located at 580 Cypress Street in the Cypress Landing Building. There's free parking in the back. Tom has been interested in Western ways for quite some time now. So make my day. Come to the opening reception on July 5th, beginning at... You guessed it. High noon. Seaside Gallery, always fine art in the heart of Pismo Beach. <laughs>